Hi, I'm Cole Hansen. I'm an industrial engineer and I'm the team lead. Hello, my name is Paul O'Brien Sylvester. I'm an industrial engineer on the team and I'm also serving as the procurement lead for the team. Hi, I'm Caleb Pendleton, one of the mechanical engineers of the team. Hi, I'm Tanner Curtis, the other mechanical engineer. Hello, my name is Son Nguyen. I am a system engineer for the team. Hello, I'm Adil Zulan, the final industrial engineer. And together, we make up a team 24 hours on the team, remote tension detection system. Our sponsor is Amazon, and we're mentored by Matt Christensen. Amazon runs miles of conveyor belts through each of their fulfillment centers. Tension is a critical parameter for the health of conveyor belts, impacting their performance and lifespan. Unmonitored tension can lead to gradual deterioration, causing downtime and financial losses. These losses are in the millions of dollars per year due to the lost operating time and cost of maintenance and repairs. Currently, Amazon technicians set the tension of the belt by feeling and visually inspecting the slack of the belt. They do this by increasing the length of the tension rod, which is connected to the take-up pulley. This means Amazon does not have a known value of tension while the conveyor belt is running, leading to unpredictable belt health and status. Implementing an accurate measurement and recording system for tension enable Amazon to follow trend of the belt status. This will assist them in making proactive decision for maintenance and repairs. The team has designed and manufactured a remote tension detection system, which accurately measures the tension of Amazon's conveyor belts and transmits that data to a web-based storage system. All of this is being done while the conveyor belts are running, which cannot be done before. Our device will allow Amazon to view live readings of the belt tension at the device and view the belt tension history remotely, allowing them to look at the belt's tension history over time. The system block diagram shows the separation between external entities that are the users, the conveyor belt tension rod, and the conveyor belt structure at Amazon, and the internal components that make up our system. It involved both a mechanical and an electrical side to complete the functionality of our system. The electrical side consists of an Arduino microcontroller, a display, and a rotary encoder, along with a battery to power the system. The microcontroller controls the functionality of the entire system, it interfaces with the load cell to read tension, sends the data to the display, takes an input from the rotary encoder, and transmits data to our online storage system. We would like for the system to be able to stay battery powered for as long as possible, and the rotary encoder allows us to keep the system tuned to the conveyor belt's real tension after a battery replacement occurs. The housing which holds all the electronic components together is 3D printed using a PLA material. The posts within the housing are all designed to position each electronic component in its place and close the housing with no interference. These posts hold the microcontroller, the display, the rotary button, and the load cell amplifier. The housing is designed so that the team and Amazon can access the microcontroller's USB port, the power input, see the display, and utilize the rotary button. The mechanical side involves a fabricated version of the current tension bar Amazon uses on their conveyor belts. This is the current bar that Amazon uses. So what we did to fabricate it is we cut this bar and then we welded steel plates onto both sides or the two new pieces that we then have. Once those steel plates cooled after welding them together, we then sanded it down and then we tapped holes into both pieces of the tension bar so that we could then screw our load cell into it. So our tension bar now makes up of the same dimensions as the previous tension bar but it has a load cell implemented into it so it can now accurately measure the tension on the tension bar. This fulfills one of our most important requirements, that our measurement is within 0.25 newtons of the belt's tension. This is about the same weight of two and a half pistons. Our team had to find a load cell that had the capability to measure up to 20 newtons, but also have the precision to measure within one quarter of a newton. Additionally, if Amazon wants to expand the system to their conveyor belts that require more tension, they can easily do this by changing the load cell component to one with a higher capacity. We first wanted to make sure that our system could accurately measure the tension in a controlled environment before introducing it to the belts used for testing at Amazon's fulfillment center here in Tucson, Arizona. To do this, we first suspended calibrated weights from the load cell and matched the readings from our system 
to the forces applied by these weights. After that, we tested the load cell by integrating it into the fabricated bar, clamping it to a table, and tightening the tension rod, which was connected to a tension meter on the other end. We made sure the forces being recorded on the tension meter matched the forces reading on our load cell. After completing the EPAL testing, we brought our system to the Amazon Fulfillment Center to test our system in its true environment. At the Fulfillment Center, we were able to test an entire compliance with maintainability, reliability, deployment, usability, and operational requirements of our product. This means it has the ability to work on majority of the conveyor belts as many of them use different legs of the same tension rods. Our system was installed and showcased its success as the load cell measurement stayed steady to a value, as the bar was tightened to their standards, and the conveyor belt was turned on. To use the system, an Amazon technician will start all fabricated tension bar assembly in the place of their current tension bar. The load cell is connected to the system's housing, which is magnetically attached to the side of the conveyor belt frame. They will have to tune the measurement output of the system to the tension of their belts by rotating a button on the housing. By pressing this button on the housing, Amazon employees are able to view live tension measurements of the belt they are working on. If they want to view the past data, they can log into the web based platform and the pull the data history from the database. In summary, our system design will allow Amazon to reliably know the current tension of their conveyor belts. This will make it much easier for Amazon to schedule preventative maintenance and have more reliable procedures when tensioning their conveyor belts. Amazon will also have access to an online database to derive insights on the changes of tension and belt deterioration over time. We would like to thank all of those who have helped our team throughout the process, including Mike Morris from the Campus Agriculture Center, our mentor and classmates. Thank you for watching.